cash is rolling into the state tax department, and lawmakers in Hartford appear to be trying to find ways to spend it. The governor says they should stick to the plan that they passed last year. That plan calls for any one-time extra revenue to be put into the state bank account for a rainy day. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joining us live with more on this tonight. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Scott and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. This unexpected windfall is uh, sort of like a bonus. Uh, it, it, it's money they didn't expect to get, and the budget that was passed last fall indicated that any money like this should be socked away, saved, because another recession will come. Receipts from the April 17th income tax filing deadline are rolling in way over what was anticipated, and it appears Democrats in the legislature are already finding ways to spend it by restoring many previous cuts. We have to look at making sure that education is number one, and that's what we did. We did care for kids, we did um, elementary ed, we also did higher ed. It is not a spending spree, but it does include um, funding for the Medicare savings plan, which was about $130 million. It also puts in uh, money for uh, municipal aid. Republicans also propose restoring municipal aid and the Medicare savings plan, but say they can do it by cutting elsewhere and not making so many other promises. I believe the Democratic budget is simply an election year political ploy. This is politics. The Republicans point to new programs in the Democrats' budget like free tuition for community college for needy students. Republicans say a commitment like this would have increasing cost consequences in future years. The free tuition is a good idea. We just can't afford it at this time. The state is strapped. They're concerned about an election year. They're concerned about making political statements and promises they cannot keep. This is one-time money in a state that has a very low rainy day fund. The governor wasting no time criticizing both plans. The best use of this money on this day is uh, uh, to fund the rainy day fund. The governor says both sides appear to be trying to circumvent the so-called volatility cap that says the money should go into the rainy day fund for a rainy day. Now, bipartisan talks between the two sides are expected to get started in earnest next week. You can go through both plans in detail, if you care to, by coming to our website or the News 8 app on your smartphone. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.